Okay, so let's quickly shift our attention to Lino Messi. Do you know how hard it is to be very good at your profession, skill, or sport for over a decade? Do you know how demanding it is to have people expecting on you to pick up their slack? Expecting you to get the job done? Expecting that when their skill set or their talent just falls a bit short, that you're going to pick up the pieces and save the day? Uh, when I looked at Lionel Messi yesterday, it kind of felt like that. He looked dejected. He looked tired. He looked knackered. He looked disgusted. He looked defeated. The, we could go on as to how he truly felt. But he looked like a man lost. He looked like a man that really didn't believe anymore, that didn't believe in himself, that looked around his dressing room and around the players on the pitch and didn't believe in them, that didn't believe in his manager, and frankly has no belief in his board, which leads me to believe that now is the time for Lionel Messi to leave Barcelona. Now, Barcelona fans, I know you're not going to like that. I know that you want Messi to stay there forever, and you and he is your He's your king. He's the cult figure. He's been the guy who's delivered time and time again. His brilliance is the ultimate trump card. He is the best player of your history, the best player we've ever seen, arguably the best player to ever play the game. But it, there comes a time where you have to part ways with something that gets a bit old. When you're in a relationship that's, you know, just lost its fizz, that's lost its taste, that is no longer exciting, you leave. No one wants to argue. No one wants to fight. No one wants to be upset or be left wanting more or left like they're not getting enough. So you leave. When you're at a job that, you know, doesn't pay you that well anymore, that cuts back, that the hours don't meet yours, that your needs aren't met, you leave. I mean, it's not hard. It's not rocket science. At some point, you, you kind of have to do what's best for you. And I feel like Lino Messi... At some point, and if it's not now, it may not be ever, but if he really and truly wants to win the Champions League, he's looking at that locker room. He's looking at the manager. He's looking at the board's decision since Neymar left, and he's walking. He's walking. Great players need to be in winning environments. Great players need to be in stable environments. And when you're in those two, it starts from the board. It goes down to the manager the teammates, and the fans. And I don't think any one of those, any, none, they don't tick the box. They no longer tick the box. Look, we know what it takes for Lionel Messi to win the Champions League. I've stated it last week. He needs two great players ahead of him to occupy space so that he could have runners either breaking him behind or that those players ahead of him could occupy defenders so that he could break free and have the space to create and finish. He doesn't have that right now. He has Antoine Griezmann. And listen, I've never been big on the Antoine Griezmann train. I don't think he's as good as people thought he was. I thought that he can only play if the squad is built around him. And if you want to really succeed, you can't build a squad around him. But I'm giving him a pass. He joined a Barcelona side that has no stability. He's learning a new role, a new way to play, to play football in comparison to what he was doing over at Atletico. And that may take time. He may need another season. But it was a bad buy to begin with. Griezmann wasn't the answer. And now they have to live with that. But you have Griezmann and you have your choice of Arturo Vidal, who frankly is not going to be the guy to do it for you. And has never been the guy to do it at that level. Granted, his great form under Antonio Conte at Juventus, he's not going to be the guy to do it at this stage of his career, or a very young Ansu Fati. So you have that in comparison to when Messi was working with Henri and Eto, when he was working with Villa and Pedro, and when he was working with Neymar and Suarez. That is what you've given Lino Messi. I know Ousmane Dembele was supposed to be there, but since he's joined at the Camp Nou, he hasn't been fit. He can't stay fit. You can't trust him. You cannot rely on him to be healthy. And that's a big problem. Felipe Coutinho, you paid a lot of money for him. And you realize that he wasn't very good, isn't very good, and is also slowly going down the pecking order at Bayern Munich. Finally, no messing. I see that. And I probably have another year or two at the max three to playing at this level and being the main guy. I want out. 
I want out. If I want to win the Champions League, I want out. When he, that final whistle blew and Lino Messi, Lino Messi, the best player in the league, leading the league in goals, leading the league in assists, and playing on average five, maybe six games less than anyone around him in those categories. If I'm Lino Messi and I'm losing to Vinicius Jr. and Mariano Diaz, with a Real Madrid squad with no Eden Hazard, no Cristiano Ronaldo, Gareth Bale can't decide whether he wants to play for them or get his differences with Zidane aside, and I'm losing to those guys, then I want out. I want out. And anyone who who values Messi, who loves Messi, who appreciates Messi, they'd put their Barcelona ties aside and realize that he needs to go. He needs to go. He can no longer do that. He can no longer play with that incompetence from the board to the teammates to the manager. Look at, since Pep left, since Pep left, they had Tata Martino, not good enough at this level. They've had Luis Enrique, got very lucky that he had Neymar and Suarez to bail him out for that one season. The second season got exposed. And then Ernesto Valverde, good manager, not the manager that you want to take you to the next level. Valverde did a very good job. But if Messi wants to avoid another night in Rome, another night at Anfield, and perhaps there's going to be some point this season where something similar happens, he has to leave. It, it, it's, it's just come to a point where, like I said, the best players demand to be in the best environments. Look across the board. Look at different sports. Wherever LeBron James goes, he goes there with the promise that they're going to put him in the best environment. Look at Brady and Belichick. Brady never left. Belichick has always ensured that they have the best around Brady to ensure or maximize what they can do. Look at Cristiano Ronaldo. Look at your own sport. Look at where Ronaldo's played. Manchester United had Rooney and Tevez. And eventually Berbatov making runs for him with the midfield of Carrick, Scholes, Hargraves, Darren Fletcher at his peak. Look at Real Madrid when they won those three Champions Leagues. Best midfield in the world. Best fullbacks. Best center backs. Bale and Benzema creating for him. Do you think Cristiano Ronaldo would leave Real Madrid despite all of the uncertainty and all the issues behind the scenes? Leave and go to Inter? Think he'd leave and go to Roma? Napoli? Cristiano Ronaldo left Real Madrid and went to a squad that was dominating Italy and, and probably was the best team that could give him the best environment to win more Champions Leagues. Cristiano Ronaldo knows that if he wants to surpass Messi in our mind and our hearts, when it's all said and done, he has to win more Champions Leagues. When Messi was watching Real Madrid and Zidane win more Champions League, he realized... I need to do that so that this guy doesn't come near me. Don't tell me that does not matter to him. It matters. He knows. He heard. He sees. He has to leave. And when you look at all the squads that are available, any of the squads that are still there, the only squad that I could see him going to might not even be in the Champions League, Manchester City. Now, now just hear me out for one second. Messi should go to Manchester City based off the fact that he's not going to go to Liverpool. And Chelsea or Spurs or United just aren't on the radar. He won't go to PSG. He won't go to Bayern Munich. Manchester City, reunion with Pep. And they have the squad ready for him to win now. And they need to win now. Manchester City may not win the Champions League this season. They may come close. And even if they do win, if Messi wants to add another European Cup to his name, Manchester City is the best place to go if they're still on the competition. You have Messi there, you get rid of Silva, you get rid of Aguero, you have Sterling, Sané, and Mares who can look to break him behind. There are your runners. Mares is in his peak, Sané and Sterling are approaching their peak, you're good there. You have arguably the best midfielder in the world, Kevin De Bruyne, just in behind you, Bernardo Silva. The only thing that they would need after that is a center back. It makes sense. Good Good players, great players need to be in great environments. Manchester City is a great environment. The board is willing to win. The manager wants to win. 
The fans are desperate to win. And that is the place where he needs to be. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching and subscribe here for your latest tactical analysis and daily commentary on the interview show. And if that wasn't enough, don't forget you could find more organic, unfiltered soccer slash football analysis on the interviews podcast, the best soccer slash football podcast in the world, available on iTunes, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Spreaker, and any Android apps on your Android devices.